This clip will be a, a bit of self-reflection, something like the um, previous uh, video clip I did titled uh, Perfection is the Enemy of the Good or The Perfect is the Enemy of the Good. If you've watched this far, you've seen me talk about philosophy, about various religions, uh, Hinduism, Buddhism, Christianity, Roman Catholicism, Greek Orthodoxy, etc. And I've also mentioned my background is uh, engineering and then math and then computer science. So I'm not a professor of comparative religion or philosophy professor or anything like that. And you might wonder, well, you might think that maybe I'm a jack of all trades, master of none, and maybe some of the stuff I'm saying is wrong, is incorrect. I uh, don't intentionally say something wrong, but I might have some misconceptions. And I admit that. Well, first of all, if you think that, congratulations. We need more critical thinking in this world. It seems like people can put any kind of uh, crazy uh, belief up on the internet and there will, will be some gullible people who accept it as fact. I think there's too much of that today. But continuing, I am just a guy who is sharing some ideas. That's all. Ideas I've collected over the years. You're welcome to these thoughts. They're free. Maybe some won't impress you one way or the other, but maybe a few will get you thinking. And even if I get you thinking and you end up coming to a conclusion contradictory to what I said, well, at least I got you thinking along those lines. Um, so I think that's good. In a way, you, you might remember, I mentioned the idea in another clip of the mindscape. The idea, being, the idea being that the landscape is, if we walk around a landscape, we see encounter a tree or a, a rock. That was there before we encountered it. And the idea of the mindscape is that all the thoughts already exist in the mindscape. And we just travel around the mindscape and we encounter thoughts. So it's not so much that we have a thought or create a thought that we and instead that we perceive the thought that was already there. And it's an interesting concept. Taken to its logical conclusion, uh, Shakespeare didn't write Macbeth. Shakespeare just saw Macbeth in the mindscape. I don't know what you think of that, but that would be a logical conclusion. So one way of picturing what we're doing here is a museum of ideas. This is a museum that I've created over my life. I've collected ideas and I've hung them up on the wall. And now I'm your tour guide and I'm taking you around the museum and I'm showing you this idea and that idea. And like any museum, some of the pictures won't impress you one way or the other, but maybe a few you'll leave and you'll say, that was very an a very interesting picture. Now that's pretty much all I had to say in this vein, but this is a short clip and there's two things I can add. There are two dishonest ways of criticizing what someone says. First, if they make a general statement, you can always find exceptions. So if I were to say that people in the United States speak English, well, Mary Smith, who was born yesterday, doesn't speak any language at all. And Joe Jones is very elderly and has dementia and hasn't spoken for two years. And an American uh, service man or woman just married, um, say a man or woman from Germany or Japan, who is now a citizen but doesn't speak English. So you can always find exceptions to a broad statement. And what I've said about Christianity, you can always probably find some Christian group that says the exact opposite. But that's not an entirely honest way of criticizing because you can do that with any general statement. And a second, somewhat dishonest way of criticizing is to criticize something for what it was never meant to be. For instance, uh, the Rolls Royce is a, is a rotten pickup truck. It doesn't even have a bed. The Rolls Royce is a terrible school bus. School buses are supposed to have two exits and entrances and, and it's not usually not painted orange, etc. The idea is that you can always criticize something for something that it is not and never was intended to be. So I don't intend this to be an oracle, a divine revelation. 
I just intend it to be some thoughts that I've collected over the years. I've told you my background. I don't claim any expertise that I don't have. And that's what I'm doing. I'm sharing thoughts. And you can take them for what they're worth, whatever you think that is. So thank you.